Well, hello and welcome to day number five of our Passion Week devotionals. And today I'm going to start with the scripture in John chapter 8. I'm going to read verses 31 through 36 to you. It says that, Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answer him, We are Abraham's descendants and have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you will be made free? Jesus answered them, Most assuredly I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave to sin. And a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Therefore, if the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Praise God. Now the ministry of Jesus has always been one of liberty. God created Adam to rule and to reign and not be dominated by circumstances, by unhealthy habits, or any other negative trait. After Adam's sin, mankind lost the power to defeat unhealthy habits on its own. That's why it's, not you, it, it's useless to try to will yourself to being a better person. We all, need God, we all need God's grace to assist us in the process of change. But one thing about God is that He won't force His way into our lives and make us yield our pain to Him. He will wait patiently to take it from us, but only once we are ready to surrender it. You know, that's the key. Now, we have to be willing and we have to be ready to surrender our pain to God and let, us, let Him come in and take it away and heal us. Now, today's challenge to your heart is to honestly identify the unhealthy habits that may exist in your life and commit it truly to surrender them to Christ. Commit truly to surrender them to Christ. You know, let's identify them and then commit to truly surrender them all to Christ. That is our challenge. And that's what I want you to focus in today. Now, he alone is the solution. He can handle it and nothing you tell him will surprise him because he already knows it all anyway. God wants you truly free and that only happens when we get honest with God and become committed to yielding our brokenness to the potter who knows how to fix us again and again and again. He loves you and we love you too. Now go today and win and be victorious in Jesus' name.